fuck yeah, this song. This song sucks. Ah, so this is what I was talking about before. Um, so you're really safe in this until you actually punch somebody. Uh, as soon as you punch somebody, you have activated them. As we can see by Cloud immediately getting punched and then doing Blade Beam directly into my nuts, taking me out. That's fine. Yeah, I... I can wholly understand stopping playing a game on a, uh, a bad pool. Like, getting cool shit is some of the main motivation of playing phone games, so when you don't get the good stuff, it, it sucks. It sucks a lot. Also, please stop punching Selfie. She's a good girl. Um, so yeah, a, a big thing with this fight, though, is having everybody in the back row is very useful, it's very good, uh, because a lot of the damage here is melee. Uh, one tricky caveat to that, though, is Cloud's Blade Beam is long range, so you're not going to be protected in the back row. Um, I also super recommend having interrupt resist on your, uh, your healer and your debuffer because that's these two boys, this, you know, top and bottom there, that's their, that's their gimmick is to interrupt you. Um, also I talked about this briefly before, but... Uh, with these, if you're going single target, you want to focus on one person alone because weak phases begin once people's HP is reduced with the interrupt resist. Uh, once HP is reduced to a point, their weak phases start. So if you can keep their HP from going down, that weak phase never occurs. Uh, also, whenever somebody revives in the in this event, they uh, it's like they're a new character. It's like it's the start of the fight again, right? So, for instance, Cloud here has a gimmick of eventually limit breaking after a period of time and unleashing piercing attacks. Uh, if you can keep killing him though over and over again, he will never hit that phase. He will constantly do blade beam though, which is very rude and mean. Blade Beam is easily one of the rudest moves in this entire fight. Outside of the interrupt moves, but we have accessories for those. We can mitigate that a little bit. Yeah, there we go. He is finally limit broken. Which means the next move he does, if he gets it off, will be very nasty. And he might actually do it because he just stunned one of my DPS. Yep, there you go. I did a test run of this fight where I had the melee people in the front row and that was 
way rougher. They were taking about a thousand damage per hit, sometimes a thousand five hundred. If you can pull it off, do back row. 